Hey guys, last here, and welcome to another Minecraft video here on the channel. Discussion-wise today, we're going to be talking about archaeology coming to Minecraft 1.20. I, I mean, I hope you're as surprised as I am because I did not foresee this happening. But yeah, uh, we're going to read this little news post that they posted on the Minecraft launcher and sort of go over our thoughts and opinions on this. But it's just going to be a discussion-based video, so have fun, relax, and let me know in the comments down below what you think about the things I'm about to read to you. So... You read that title correctly, dear reader. Our archaeology is coming to Minecraft, but that's not all. We're going to be revealing the remaining features for Minecraft 1.20, so keep your eyes on Minecraft. On oh, do not worry. I plan on making videos and our social channels. You can start digging, dusting, and testing out all the new features and snapshots, betas, and previews that will be coming to you very soon. Keep in mind, this is a the just the very first iteration. We will be adding a lot more things as we continue to develop this feature. Check out these instructions for installing snapshots betas and previews uh so you prepare when they make to the device near you uh keep in mind guys this is on the minecraft launcher like if you launch minecraft right now under news this is like the top discussion anyway uh when you're ready to get started uh, with your new career as a minecraft archaeologist or m archaeologist markeologist you could say uh as it's known Kyokuli, I cannot say that word. <laughs> Head out to the nearby desert. That's where the where the sand lives. Yes, yes. Beaches have sand too. Good for them. But we're looking for a specific type of sand today. Uh, pick a nice plot near some desert temples and start shoveling. So keyword: go to desert temples, uh, and you'll need a shovel. As we continue to work on archaeology, more dig sites areas will be added. So keep sending us your feedback and check out the future snapshot space and previews to stay up to date and where to dig. So to my knowledge, this has not been released yet. Like it's not in the most recent snapshot or anything. They just announced that it will be coming soon. Um, while you're digging, look out for new blocks, suspicious sand. As the name suggests, you need to tread carefully here or rather brush carefully Along with new blocks and the general air of mystery, archaeology also brings a new tool, the brush. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a new tool added to Minecraft and it's not a hammer. Someone's going to be upset. Shouts to Piero. Anyway, <laughs> break it out and carefully brush your block of suspicious sand. This allows you to extract whatever is hiding within which can be anything from from pottery shards to random objects so this is a few pictures of what it looks like this is the brush right here and these are the things that will be spawning in like the temples just around them it looks like and you will be able able to uh you know harvest them this also looks like they'll be spawning in any structures in the desert like the desert villages or even like the wells that you find but that's what that looks like um, if you look closely at the pottery shard, you can see that their potential pattern is painted on it. Uh, once you collect four shards, you can put them together for a pot. There are different patterns that tell unique stories and make for very decorative accents on your build. So, okay, so this is built after you find the pieces. Where was the photo? So, when you, when you dig or er, dust the suspicious sand, you get these shards right here. And then you combine four in your crafting grain, you get the pot. Interesting. Um, speaking of unique stories, the secret library that I found and now officially live in is filled with them, but it also contains an extensive travel section, which is where I found the journal that was a mysterious, as mysterious as it was dusty. It was stuffed between the overworld Al atlas and a stack of nether travel brochures. I can't tell if they're being serious with this or not. I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't the string of numbers that were listed on each page. Could this be a secret code? Phone numbers to former Minecraft.net writers? Or could it be someone's super secret seed log? Question mark. I am going to test out that last one by entering some of them into my game and see where I spawn interesting while you're pursuing seeds and getting ready to dig like you've never dug before check out the instructions on how to install bedrock bit we don't care okay so from what i'm understanding is there's gonna be a new structure called the something library the secret library and that is going i don't know if that's this picture right here or what and that's gonna have a bunch of these and there you're able to find different books on different like things like even seed generation if I'm reading that correctly and he wasn't just messing around with this post, 
uh that that's interesting i think actually this might be the secret library on this top image right here either way uh archaeology is coming to micro 1.20 let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below uh this could open the gateway to dinosaurs potentially coming to minecraft i know there's a bunch of dinosaur mods that exist in minecraft now but like you know vanilla minecraft could be any dinosaurs this could be like a segue to that um that might be a whole other video in itself but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below and uh are you excited for archaeology coming to minecraft 1.20 either way that's gonna do for this video thank you all so so much that if you watch this all the way through do not forget to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel we plan on doing a bunch of more minecraft content especially this 1.20 stuff it's getting real juicy and interesting uh either way hope to see you all in the next video have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye